So, hey guys, and welcome to another review, this time of the Bachman Intermodal Bogey Wagons, as you can see here with the containers. So, let's get started. Um, so, first thing I want to show you is the box. This is just the regular um, Bachman packaging, only there are two things, so just two separate boxes inside of one larger sleeve so yeah so each box is the regular um well, i like to call it like ice block packaging because eh. wait it's kind of difficult to get out let me just do this Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, just a little thing here. And then just open it up and out comes the car. So, yeah. And then also with each box, with each um thing, came this pack of details, which I will get to later because I have a lot to say about these. Let's get this out the way and move on to the actual um, containers. So, wait, let's just take these off for a second. Eh. So these are amazingly detailed. I mean, if you could just look at this, all of these little things, I. I mean, there's so many things, I don't even know the names of some of these. So, all of these little hoses and wheels and stuff, off and on thing. All of these little yellow things, which I had to put on separately. Um, all this little documentation stuff. And then the wheels, the bogey detail, the red, um like thing I don't I forgot what you call them like cap things. Um and now underneath you have all of the little pipes and air tanks and hoses for the brakes and everything. Uh okay. Um sorry for that edit guys. My phone just um put up a message saying that I had no more memory for my camera so I just had to delete a few videos in order to free up some space for this video so um yeah so back to the model as you can see um on the ends you have like all of these little handrails so zoom in yeah all the handrails and all the little things they're so fine it's so delicate because compared to my finger how big they are how small they are and then are you ready for this sprung buffers yes on a car on a wagon sprung buffers and on this side too sprung wait Let's focus. Oh, it's focusing on the background. Wait, let me move this out the way so it can focus properly. Right. Okay. Sprung buffers on this whole model. <sighs> this is so much detail. And then couplings, like little coupling hooks. And then the drawbar connection to the... Ooh, knocked the camera there. And then a drawbar connection to this to this one and other wagons. Okay, so now for the kind of... Oh, wait. First, got to show you the other side. Um, oh, even more writing and detail on this side. If you can see. Yeah, all of that is just amazing. Okay, so now for the professionally not so good stuff about this model. So, because Bachman is trying to be so realistic 
they've made the way of attaching containers even more realistic. So all of these little yellow things that you see falling off during this video, if I can show you how tiny they are, this people is what, wait, let's focus out the way, yeah, this tiny thing is what you have to use to attach the containers on to here. So, in order for this to work, you have to use, let's see, four for each and they're four. So, you have to use 16 of these tiny things to then attach this. Those can be very fiddly and I actually lost like a few of them just flying off. But once they're on, they're on. But they also don't stay on well. So, like, if ever you try to take off a container, then these start to come off too. So, yeah. And then another thing about this, um, this is about the containers themselves, which are also very nicely detailed. But what I don't understand is that you had to put all of this on separately. Because in the box, they just came out like this one. I haven't put the detail on yet, because the details in here, those little silver things, if you can see all of these little holes on the container. Yeah, I had to do that in order for those to look like this. But what I don't understand is that because I bought some containers separately before from Bachman, the Marsic ones, and they came with all the detail on already. So I was really surprised to find that I had to put them on separately when I got them with the cart, when I got them with the um, wagons. So yeah, I found that a bit strange. So um, other than that, they're okay. But I still have an issue with these little yellow things. They have to put on for focus. Well, you remember what they look like, how small they were. They have to put on in order to keep the in order to keep the containers on the wagon. As you can see here, these little tiny things. Because Bachman has tried to be so realistic that, because in real life they have these little things, but as you can imagine, they're huge. Because I mean, come on, this is double O scale. This is 176, the act, this is like 76 times the actual size. So they really made these things so tiny in order to be realistic. But yeah, other than that, it's a really nice model. And so thanks for watching, guys. And um, yeah, I might do a video later of this running. Um, a separate video, because this has gone on for way too long. How long is this, like 10 minutes or something? I don't know. So I'll make a separate video of that. So yeah, thanks for watching, and bye.